Oh, what's up guys? This is the Broforman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, we are about to attack and destroy both of the United Provinces' last cities. So this battle is going to be the capture of Strasbourg. So let's get to it. The enemy does have some howitzers we need to bear in mind, but apart from that, it's going to be a fairly standard siege assault. And then following on from this, we will attack Paris, and then that will be the end of the Dutch. And then we can focus on sending troops south to try and finish off Spain, and also sending them north to try and invade Britain, because that is something we have to get around to doing, and also probably boost our navy somewhat. I think I've, I've definitely been lax at doing that. But as we expand elsewhere, we're going to need more ships. Here, for here, I leave my second leg in the 42nd foot. Right. Howitzers drop here. We're going to blast one line, one um, breach. We'll need to be a bit careful because the enemy howitzers will probably be able to engage us. So let's spread my line out, like so, all the way out. Cavalry is just going to stay here. Okay. Oop, one second. Apologies for that. Right. Shoot quick climb. Oh, yeah. Quick climb in the center, please. Put artillery. Go for that section of the wall. Clear out those cavalrymen. <laughs> Sorry, Hussars. Losing decisively. Yeah, but let's speed this up because we're currently just chipping away this section of the wall. We've only got two units of foot artillery, so there's a limit to how much effect we can have. Yeah, ideally, we'll knock out the um, howitzer crew. There they are. We've still got a full, a full complement. So let's take one of my howitzers and engage this unit of marines. Yeah, I'm only speeding this bit up because you guys have seen this loads of times. He had killed six Howard to crews, that's quite good. Oh, and we put a real dent in their marines. What's that, about 60 odd guys? Wonder, shotgunners. I do love Swiss line. Swiss line, garrison guards, Wadlek infantry, Swiss infantry. Well, that's like proper, like in, in the Dutch roster. Whereas this is available to almost every faction. There we go, the marines have been just obliterated. Let's try and engage the mercenaries instead. So this unit can go after... Still going after the enemy. Oh, it's is there. Yeah, maybe switch to round shot now and just start plunging although actually they they're currently not even unlimbered there we go finally soon to have our breach there we go We're advancing on a broad front. We're going to try and assault most of the wall. Actually, these guys can start to chip away at this section of the wall here. Our quick climbers. Okay, maybe go after a unit of light infantry, maybe. Go for the Swiss line. This unit with this firing round shot. Just keep popping shots off in this direction. 
Ooh, good hit. And not our gun team. One how it's a left. When you guys engage this section of the wall. Actually, quick climbing how it's a thin out that unit of infantry. To be honest, we probably want to attack both these units on the wall rather than any special than any special um attacks at the breach because they've got there's no one here really to defend the breach nine marines left okay so it's light infantry push up and secure foothold around the breach and just start lashing it with musket fire. The 81st Regiment scale the wall. These guys keep chipping away. Doing... You men scale that section, you men scale that section. Just knock a, probably knock a few holes in some of this enemy infantry. Although it looks like they didn't really want to. Might take one of my howitzers fire a round shot at the breach here, just to try and make it tumble a bit faster. Make sure both these units just stack up here. There you go, it's knocked a few garrison guardsmen down. Infantry, guerrilla mercenaries, there you go, routing, routing. Okay, keep. Okay, might get both of my howitzer units. There we go, 50%. So, regular infantry scale the wall. They'll take a lot of damage, but they're against light infantry and irregulars so they should be great these guys are going to charge out to try and <laughs> try and stop them okay, you capture that section marines uh, this line infantry get up there everybody here former ready to pun punch through Climb the walls, fellows. Garrison guards are coming. Oh, it's this weird, oh, weird um, combat kind of glitching out, fighting around the. This is like a big common. This is a common thing to see. Get up on the wall. Chip, start making, getting, just start getting through those enemy units. Okay, let's get you guys cross straight over. Cause it looks like they want to try and come out of the breach to stop us. Okay, the 96th might have to charge in the rear because I thought these guys no just run over here don't do anything weird whoa who 
who's shooting at this? Not my guys. Okay, they're hitting their own... They're hitting their own fortress then, I guess. Well, you're not shooting. Let's try to charge us. Right, let's get the marines in. Human ceasefire. to push through. I don't who's, who's, it's not my guys, it's definitely them, but I don't get which unit it is that's actually doing it. Alright, scale over here then. 84th, charge the mercenaries, you guys stack up. Cavalry, probably blow through. Why did oh, God lie? This game times Mamma Mia. Attack the enemy provincial cave. They'll bog us down, but we'll get some some kills here. The cavalry trying to fight through. No. You keep fighting. Let's see if I can get my cavalry to blow through again. New men charge off. Try and do some damage. These units just try and get through. Now I got one one howitzer unit that's firing. Okay, give these guys another order to position differently along the wall, so then these guys will run around and hopefully get up to different grappling solutions. Solutions. Get through the gate. No, you're shooting. Stop. One general's bodyguard left. You get through. get a marines, go get those guys, my cavalry will clear out the centre. Kill the cavalry. Okay, you're fighting the wildlife infantry. Great. There's one. Oh, the general's bodyguards here. Just his last member of staff. Excellent. Now, there we go. They finally cracked. Pressure got too much for them. Still, this is only a minor city of theirs they've lost. It's not a huge deal to them. But still, it is a city. And it is taken. And it's going to be one of our launching points towards Württemberg. We do need to tidy that up somewhat. Good. 
let's repair this. Let's get better. Oh, the roads are good. You're replenishing. Don't really care about Philip down here. So look, I might just send... Preemptively send a couple of rakes south. But don't care about trying to assassinate the Dutch because they're about to be destroyed. So this force under Luca Comin. Let's attack the city of Paris. When this will be the last of the Dutch, their empire will fall into rack and ruin. So potentially the... Um, so potentially the Empire in the Americas will get swallowed up by the USA. That would be quite fun if they did. But this army's got a heavy horse guard foot artillery unit, so we should be able to blast through the walls a lot faster than we did last time. Okay, first of all... Oh, you're going to blow through a lot faster. You go well. Ultimately, yeah, we're gonna make two breaches. That's for sure. How it says, just start popping off shots. Let's put the bulk of our infantry here to cover the breach, and then let's take a. But well, the bulk of our infantry to cover the breaches. Take some infantry to hide over here, I'm ready to try and push the back when the time is right. get to work on this section, you guys get to work on this section. Howitzers try and knock out their artillery. Fire lock on citizenry. Yes, yeah, so let's speed up time again. We are under fire from artillery fire from the walls, but that's not a problem shouldn't asterisk cause any problems <laughs> and that asterisk is sometimes it does excellent there we go killed 12 of those gun crews killed seven of these exactly what we want to see because once the mortars are dealt with that just makes everything a lot easier because these things can be scary he's in the bg's mode <laughs> He's staying alive. Or is he? Yep, it's still going. Down to 50%. Shooting lots of damage. Two crew left. Excellent. I'm just going to use my... Get these men just to keep attacking ground in the breach. And just start, keep slamming shells through like that. I got some kills on these cuts as a result. We don't need them to help out attacking the breach. Or this breach. Heavy horse guard artillery will get through that, no worries. I guess exactly what I want. Cannonballs just bouncing around in here, rounding through, killing infantry, that's great. And once we've knocked down this section. Boom, there we go. Start trying to target some of these units that are trying to support. A lot of uh, fire lock armed citizenry and infantry up on the wall. Yeah, let's soften them up a bit. There we go. You men just. Reload and attack through. Attack ground just short of the bridge. Again, they'll just get some extra kills. Yeah, we 
you're down to two gunners so that's not bad you've still still a fully crewed battery but if we attack all at once we should be okay might get a unit of cavalry to come up around here maybe even both of them if we take both of the multiple if we take multiple gatehouses we might want to send a cavalry unit in to assassinate these rambunctious artillerymen I think ground shot won't really do it unless I might try keep one keep one attacking that other unit see we have lost one of our howitzer teams that does so they can cause problems okay so does that does that actually work okay yeah we do click we do do some damage Okay, my cavalry are in range. So that's doing some good, really good work. I mean, I think Quicklime had something to do with that. What's so this unit? I need to start attacking the center as well. Who's up on the wall? Militia. Don't, we're not going to bother attacking this fortification. Just push up around the flank. It's probably enough damage against those mortars. Now I'll just keep, just keep quick climbing their infantry just to try to thin them out somewhat. Like here, it's. Not necessarily the best use of our infantry, but it still is it's probably the best we can do. And these units run forward. So if we send one here and one here, this unit can't stop us both. Actually, there's an opportunity to try and break through on this side. So we, so we can't prevent these units from exiting the walls. If we destroy this section, we just destroy this chunk, not the walkway. Well, then maybe we should try and attack it. Does add extra ways into the city. We might we might still kill some guys. Okay, yeah, this left flank's definitely the weakest. Let's attack this section of the wall in force. One guy left and it's the officer. It's the general, no less. Okay, they're getting into position. Because it might be good for us to try and knock out, knock some of these gun positions out. I want you to attack there. You attack the gate. You attack up here. The mercenaries attack up here. Push a unit of cavalry forward to bog them down in the breach, in, bog them down in the gate in case they go for us. 
That comes that quick climb. Against my heavy cavalry. Okay, they're pulling units, some units away from the walls. There's some charges. Okay, my heavy artillery, my heavy horse artillery is going to keep attacking the breach. It looks like they are going to try and come through the gate to stop us, so we're not going to let them do that. Try to get to the get to the gate in, in all in all haste. Um, citizenry redeploying. Oh, they are coming. Yeah, you guys keep bombarding. Keep bombarding that breach because they are charging. You guys do the same. Just bombard out here. Bring Luca Komen up. That's right, leave the gate. You can't stop us from attacking. It's a couple of units broken. You meant form up and just keep engaging. Broken, shattered, broken. The militia might come back. Yeah. They've pushed out to try and counter us. It hasn't worked. Try, let, try to get our cavalry to slip through because we do have a gap. If we're climbing up these hooks on mass. God, this is yeah, this breach. This area might be. This is a serious tactical blunder by the AI. Coming out to try and stop us. There we go. Kill their general. Run around the file off armed citizenry for now. There we go, they're coming back. That's what I sort of expected to happen. I'll just wheel the defences back. Kill the enemy general. Okay, let's run some infantry off. I mean, if they're just going to, if the armed citizens are just going to stand there, then I'm going to. Okay, there we go. They're responding. In which case. Artillery sees fire. You men attack that regiment there. These two units push through. You just hold off that unit of the militia. Killing the last mortar crewman. the walls and everybody go off the walls they're gonna stop our successful capture of the territory get over here excellent there is no men in the left hand breach foot artillery continue to engage push in on the left the right is is opening up. We've got a massive. I mean, my, my uh, light troops can see if they can sneak through. I 
Howitzers drop quick climb onto these units. She's trying to attack ground here. She might get all three of them in that case. You're firing down onto 119. Some of you are. Some of you are actually are attacking them through the walls. So let's just send you. Get off the wall and get down here with them. Send one unit to defend the square, the other unit. Position to defend our successful breach. This unit of marines come get stuck in. Is one of your guys, is one of your men stuck somewhere? Load, unload. Oh, there's one guy. He's <laughs> not today. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's focus on that large unit. 11 seconds to go. I'm sure I gave you an order to turn around and engage them. Maybe I didn't. Either way. City's taken. City's taken and that will be the end of the Dutch. Okay, so we've got to bring this territory into the fold. And we've also got a good... We've got, oh, we've got a new front to the south. So this is going to take a second for the enemy to... For the game to kind of deal with. <laughs> Clunk. Nice. Okay, get rid of the college. Is there another one? Sometimes there's two. College of Divinity. College of Divinity... No, there isn't two. Okay, let's get these institutions in Paris repaired. Awesome. You can replenish. You replenish and kind of head up towards Calais. Actually, you can just sit in it. Then Calais itself is going to recruit... Well, all of our ports are going to recruit two sloops. Uh, let's repair the naval hospital. Let's not repair too much near the Spanish border, because we're probably going to lose that. Let's repair some of these uh, industry buildings. Send another rake south. So we're still just trying to, main, to you know, maintain control of Morocco. We do need to kill those rebels. My Dragoon army can deal with them. That would help a lot. Okay, my Dragoon army can just chase them. Ludovico, get back up to Tangier. Let's upgrade the roads. We'll move faster than they do. They've still got infantry, whereas we are all cavalry, baby. Marrakesh, go to church school. Let's repair the trading port. Do you want to be ready to advance over and attack Gibraltar? You're just going to hold where you are. Okay, let's send some of these sloops around to other ports. No, not both of the you, you idiots. Okay, Cagliari, upgrade the governor's residence, upgrade the port. Got maxed out on roads. Okay, in Amsterdam, we're going to build a church school because we want to get these guys converting to Catholicism. Um, what I may do... First of all, really, 
one of yes we can reach Reykjavik and we're at war with the confederacy anyway the Iroquois confederacy Nero Balbus let's get you up here and attacking these Iroquois dogs and secure more territory for our empire it looks like we can just run in yeah there's no one in there anyway that's nice okay that's both both fine Signore. They wanted the Dragoons, you want the infantry, so let's get you down to here. Do you want to be ready to attack? Well, ultimately, obviously we're going to be we're gathering our forces to invade Britain in Denmark. Okay, that's... Okay, you need two units of skirmishers. Well, you've got one. You've got one. You're recording, recruiting a second, so we just need five units of infantry to finish you up. One, two, three, four, five. And you're in great shape, Nicola Castiglione. Okay, let's start to. Start to boost your forces. Let's get heavy cavalry plus carabiner. Because we need, we need an our armies ready to just start to squeeze the Italian states. Probably gonna build some more conscripts in Naples just to make sure they don't come south. Okay, let's get give one of these units and one of these ships an admiral great visby okay you're gonna go up here i mean moving them by ship would be a lot faster but i'm not overly bothered about that Farm upgrades. I need to make sure that these units, these areas, all do have top level roads because I haven't necessarily checked it. Constantino, get to this bridge crossing in Spain. Ultimately, yeah, you're going to stay here to cover Wurttemberg. You guys can't leave anyway. Let's repair this. So now we have an enormous... There is a large pirate empire. Although it actually looks like the Cherokee nations have taken some of it. We have a thousand. Orléans is going to be demolished. So we don't really care about that. Ernesto is another Uomini. candidate for... Well, we are going to send a lot of troops in to invade Britain. Just recruit some smaller ships. Okay, so you're a militia unit looking to garrison Antwerp. Luca Comin, General of Infantry, plus 10% to the campaign movement range, minus 1 morale, plus 3 to command. Harsh Taskmaster. Oh, Luca. Bloody, courageous, aggressive. So his morale, he's still plus one morale. Oh, no, he does make his men. Okay, stupid nephew counts for his... Deals with his drunkenness. Minus one morale, plus three, minus one. So he's still providing positive morale boosts to his troops. More armies for the Middle East. But we need to deal with Spain. We also need to deal with our Italian allies. But that will be dealt with in one fell swoop.
you once we start invading from the north, then they're going to Spain's going to be a lot easier to handle. And particularly once we've managed to deal with Morocco's morale problems. Well, yeah, morale problems. Civil unrest isn't a morale problem. <laughs> it's civil unrest. But if we deal with that, and we're invading Spanish Peninsula from three directions. They want peace. No. You joined a war with us for no reason. Or a war against us for no reason. Should never have tried to rebuild that church school. That was just asking for trouble. Okay, first things first. Raid at Marrakesh. Destroy those rebels. Una vittoria gloriosa. Oh my god. Ruppe, avanti! Date loro la caccia. Don't reach them. Si. In marcia, avanti! Signore. They'll come round. Pronti. It's almost a wash anyway at the minute. Then let's recruit some more dragoons for here. Upgrade the farm. First of all, construction. Top tier ports, Tangier. Produ military production keep growing. Rhineland. Rhineland, the fine land, and gets a fine workshop. Steam dried up. Okay, Malmo. Get a global trading company. Sala. Keep on upgrading everything. I want more religious agents. That's what I want. Okay, let's also start to. Build up an army ready to attack Bavaria, but we haven't got to worry about getting it up to speed now. Uh, do, 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 do. Two how it's two foot artillery. Get a 24 pounder howitzers, and then let's get a marine unit and a Swiss line unit. I'm happy to take take a few turns to develop it. That's not a problem. Okay, then down here in Italy, let's get some new infantry. Works on strike in France. Well, they'll, they'll get over it soon enough. Minus four. See, they're almost 100. Oh. These are the Protestant ones. We don't want these. No, sir. We want good Catholic ones. See, this is why I wanted, I wanted some darn religious agents. Oh, well. Okay, and you oh, you can't sail out to Brest because the enemy fleet had us boxed in, in which case. We're gonna build build a fleet out of there. Yeah, the Brits do have two roughly two armies at sea, Noel Plummer. And Hilary Mansfield in London plus no, Hilary Mansfield out of London, plus Edwin Lynch in London. Demand the surrender of Reykjavik. Upgrade the magistrate, and let's get... Let's get growing. 13 turns for Holfen to grow, but once we've upgraded the farms and everything, that will be a lot faster. Okay. 
to this. I mean, you, you know, you can't get to Tangier. Next turn, this army is going to cross the strait and lay siege to Gibraltar. We got ten thousand in the bank. Okay, let's get right. I think the name of the game. Oh, damn it. The name of the game is to try and take take out Ireland. So I think going for the mainland off the bat will be too much. If they let us go that way, we might be able to lay siege to Dublin immediately. You guys deposit your army, put Dublin under siege. So then we want you to deploy as re as a backup to, to the Dublin attack. You can raid Bristol. You sail in, land an extra army. Signores. There we go, you're ready to Pronti push forward. And these... Plus this army, they are going to wait. They're going to wait and see what happens. See if we can draw any of the British troops away from the Channel area. Uh, recruitment report, lots of good stuff. Region captured Iceland. I mean, we could just take this army and attack Ireland. Duncan Widrington. Yeah, let's not give them an opportunity to bolster their lines. Let's just take Ireland immediately. Free the good Catholic people then push north to try and cross over into Scotland. If that can cause the Brit British to remove troops from London, then we will invade London. But yeah, it looks like we're doing... Yeah, we can, we've, got, we've got a good amount of pressure going. I think we do need to order 66, our Italian and German allies in the centre of Europe. Uh, ooh, hello. I think I found where my artillery is going to go. How it says deploy down the hill. I mean, I'm definitely going to want to. Well, I say that. Are we going to get screwed over? So you can deploy here. Deploy two grenadiers and skirmishes up here immediately. With my cavalry. No, we are not. Well, we might still. Form line. Use quick lime. The enemy has no artillery. They are compelled to come towards us because they cannot wait. Get my general up on the high ground. <laughs> Bit of friendly fire there. Eh? You saw what happened to the last gunners, to the last cavalrymen. They're not even loading the guns. There we go. Swiss guards, Swiss guards, Swiss line, Swiss line, Swiss grenadiers. I mean, do you? 
just relying on mercenaries to defend your position. Grenadiers down here just to extend this little, this length, this flank a bit. Yeah, you are firing quick line, just haven't seen much. There we go, knock some holes on that Swiss Guard unit. Doing AI. You can redeploy all you want. You love the Swiss Grand Days look great. So they are just marching around, not wanting to get into any mischief. Very well, then we will just pummel the living hell out of you. And where are you going? Oh, please come right up to our line. Eighteenth Regiment of Foot. First Regiment of Foot. Western European mercenaries. Okay, I'm gonna get one of my howitzers to start work on some of these units that are working their way around the flank, just to make sure they don't cause any mischief. against the Swiss line. Oh, good hit. Yeah, right now, if... Oh, the, the, quick, oh, the quick line was sucked up by the house. Yeah, if they're just going to run around being hit by artillery but not committing, I guess I'm going to let them do that. Form a bit, a bit of a better, better line for them to crash that infantry into. Forty-second Regiment is <laughs> a very experienced gun regiment. Left flank is where they're strongest. Maybe attack the 123rd with my howitzers. Everybody else is going to be... We're going to deal with them just fine. With our musketry. There we go. First volley. The grenadiers are open fire. Back you go. I mean, sadly, because we've got the rain. they're committing. Trap rule shot. Load and fire in your own time. They're not going to know what hit them.
bring up the curiosity air. Charge the mercenaries that are trying to work their way around our flank. Advancing up, but they're on the move. <laughs> Bring my hussars up. There we go. Now the, the scattered remnants of this army are now wandering towards the front where a few swift volleys of musketry will see them packing. The mercenaries are going to place stakes unless I can get to them. Shattered, try and attack the 94. Shattered, get out of there. Retreat back to the line. There you go. Just keep going till you shatter them. There we go. Get back to the line. Swiss guards get engaged by quick line. Concentrate all my shrapnel shot into this central block of men. Although they too are being slaughtered. Good kills. Kill the enemy general. Dumping shots into that general's bodyguard. There we go. The volleys are slamming home. They're slowly advancing into our line. So these men are continuing to advance up the hill. Concerned the general's dead. Retarget the shrapnel shot against these units. Some of the enemy are recovering. Oh no, not after that shrapnel fire, they're not. Excellent. Mass cavalry charge against the 115th. They're on the move. I think they might get a volley off. No, they will not. Just overwhelmed with the Venetian cavalry. Back up the hill. The enemy infantry is still, is still, still around. Good for them, but how long are they around for? Shrapnel shots blasting off above their heads. God, this is proper, proper warfare. Letting the machinery do the work. 125th are routing. Engage the 123rd. So if we can blast one of these guys with a shrapnel shot, that would be pretty awesome. Missed, misfire. Got a couple guys. It's very enemy reinforcements coming in. There they are. 
Swiss pikes, some mercenaries. There is more more Swiss pikes on the way. There they are. But yes, if you think there's one unit they don't they don't necessarily want, that's a unit that's that is that re needs to close short range to engage the enemy. They're not going to like that one bit. Swiss Pikes, Mercenaries, Swiss Pikes, Swiss Pikes, Swiss Line. And they're sat there walking over the dead of all their comrades going, Jesus, what the hell's gone on here? And they're just going to march stoically into our lines. That's, a, that's not a bad idea. They are aiming for the slightly weaker part of our line. So let's ever so slightly adjust our formation. Try and minimize those risky gaps. It does look like they are. They do want to work their way around the flank. Give them an order to engage in that unit. Make sure these guys are running. Just I don't want them to miss out on some good volleys. They are confident for now. They're up against the 37th, the 74th, and the 15th. Volley fire present. Skirmish fire to these guys, Grenadiers. The Grenadier flyback rank is all they've got until they until the line reloads. Into the breach, man. Oh, they finished reloading. Bad luck for them. Artillery engage that one unit of pike. So these guys really are running the gauntlet. Good hits into the fort here. Massing their strength. There we go. Fire coming in. Swiss pikes are charging. Oh, okay. it's, they're going to make it to the line. Just fine. You men just surround the enemy pipes. You guys cease fire. Hey, Grande, 
is charge this block in the flank. Shattered. There we are, sir. Yes, we shall continue. You men run down the hill. Artillery cease fire. Everybody cease fire. Just because these units are um, reinforcements, so let's just try and try to take them out. Misclick. There we go. Okay. Kill the Swiss line here. He's got these damn stakes. Need to carefully fidget around. There we go. Now you can commit. I do like Swiss Pikes. They're a cool unit, but I don't like it when I fight them. They always have, because they go for your, they form a bit of a beeline for your cavalry. So you can't really use the cavalry the way you want them to, because you know you've always got this pike seeking missile chasing them around. <laughs> nice. so that's that's uh, Dublin secured. March my reinforcing army up front just to cover. You guys replenish. Let's get this rebuilt. Awesome. Uh, okay, 970. I would hit end turn, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.